You know, we should really have got on one of those like confetti things for 200k and like launched it here, but that would have probably made quite a lot of mess. But we hit 200k anyway. Hey everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute since I've sat in front of a camera and did a video, so in honour of 200,000 total subscribers here on the channel, I thought I'd come along and do a community Q&A. Uh, I asked a few of you last week to submit questions, and I believe about 170 of you sent in some questions. That's still quite a lot for me, like we've got 200,000 subscribers, 170 questions is quite a lot. I know some of you have been asking me some stuff on Discord as well, along with Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Uh, any of those social platforms you can follow me on, and the links will be down below. First up, a massive thank you for 200,000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, it's been a long road, not the Enterprise song. It's been a long road, um, you know, I was about to say getting here from there, but no, um, I've just really gone and quoted that whole song now. Um, but yeah, it really has been like a long path, um, sort of like in making content, getting from like when I started in 2010 to now like 2020. I'm looking forward to hopefully hitting another milestone by the end of the year. That's being rather ambitious. Then again, it's not, it's not me before, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to jump into the Q&A today. If you do want to catch up with me and what I'm currently up to at the minute uh, and why I've been taking some time off, you can read the post down below to quickly sum it up. Uh, I want to take a week off as I'm about to be very busy starting this week just gone um, with a lot more content. For those who don't know, I actually run and administer two YouTube channels. This being one, the second being my Star Trek theme one called Trek Central. That one's doing really well at the minute. Uh, and we've also got 23 weeks of Star Trek content to cover. So as you can imagine, that's quite a lot of work and we're going to be quite busy. So that's why I've been spending a little bit of time recently and just doing stuff over there and sort of like prioritizing both channels. It's finding like a good balance to keep me busy, but also not like burnout at the same time. You've probably heard a lot of YouTube creators have spoken about burnout in the recent years. Uh, I've experienced some of that myself. Um, so it's kind of like, I just want to take a quick break and I spent a week just um, sort of milling around my flat and the city I live in, just exploring stuff, etc. Which is quite fun as uh, it was very warm that week and working in this office um, <laughs> when it gets to 30 degrees is not very nice because there's no aircon over here. Americans, you have aircon. We don't. I have a really bad Dyson fan, which somebody told me on Twitter is right, but uh, I don't believe them. And if they're watching, you know who you are. Anyway, let's jump into the Q&A. So I have all of your questions on my phone here. Uh, we're gonna go through them and basically see what you guys have asked. I'm probably gonna start with the oldest first. So there's gonna be a lot of scrolling down, but thank you to everyone who did send in questions. Uh, any I didn't want to answer in this video, I probably have replied to on the thread. Uh, if not, you can come and ask me in Discord or via any of the platforms and I'll try and get back to you. A lot of people are asking about when Conley Lost return. Of course, Conley being my flagship series and Lost being the, you know, the last um, season of it. It will come back this Friday. I think this video is going on Tuesday, uh, which is the 11th, I think. Is, is it the 9th today? I don't know. It's the 9th. Yeah, it's going on the 11th. Um, the, this video is. And then Conley will return on the Friday and then the Sunday. And the reason I've taken a week off is just because the series is quite demanding. Uh, our filming um, is quite long. We film for about two to three hours every Tuesday. And then the cinematics alone are a nightmare to film. Um, so yeah, it took a bit of a week off to actually do that. Um, I've logged into the wrong channel, here we go. Um, a lot of people asking a lot of stuff about Conley. Uh, I've answered most of these questions before in the community Discord, so again, link down below to that. It is discord.gg slash captainjack. If you have any law specific questions about that, you can come and ask there. So yeah, a lot of people asking like, how long does it take to videos and scripting and um, how do you make the cutscenes? So videos on average, if it's like a normal SC one, I can probably do in a couple of hours. For Conley ones, like I say, it takes us three hours to film a session um, by the time we take in like our setup and then our wind down, etc. So we aim for two hour blocks. That means episode one, you get uh, allocated one hour. Then episode two, we allocate um, the second hour to it and kind of do it in that way. It's kind of where I like doing it. I'm sure there are better ways to do it out there. Um, but it works for me and that's where I've been doing it. Now, there's also added time into that as well. Editing can take me anywhere you know, between three hours to 10 hours, depending on how complex the session is. Cutscenes can take a whole day and also setting up for the session. I typically spend my whole Tuesdays setting up for the whole session. So yeah, it's quite, <laughs> it does take quite a long time. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, because you guys enjoy the series. I enjoy making it, but Conley is ending soon because I would like to focus on some other stuff and use my time um, differently because I say it does take a lot of time bringing the series out, but it's worth it at the end of the day. Now somebody asked, um, why do I call myself Captain Jack? Simple reason was my name's Jack and the rank of captain is typically a common one in sci-fi. Put two and two together, there we go. It's literally the only reason I named it that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. And is it a reference to Torchwood? Maybe. Is it a reference to the pirates? No, it's probably more Torchwood because who couldn't say no? Um, so a lot of people are asking like, which is canon? The Conley universe, which takes place with Lost, Wars and Survival, 
or the Redwood Universe, which is Planet Wars um, and Serenity. I'm testing my own knowledge and my own stuff now, and a few of the mini things. Uh, both are canon, they exist in like separate things. So you get Conley and then you get uh, Redwood Universe, and they exist in their own separate things. They're very similar. It's almost like an alternate universe in a way, um, but I have to say they're just separate universes but carry across similarities. So that's why I'm looking at it. So um, Blaine Parent says, what games do you enjoy playing other than Space Engineers? At the minute, I've been playing a bit of Empire at War, but other than that, I've not been playing many games. Lately, I've started just sitting down and watching Netflix or like um, YouTube stuff most evenings as a way to chill out. Essentially, I do play games as part of my job because YouTube is my like career thing. Um, so when it comes to just chilling out lately, not massively into games, but I do play a lot of VR at the minute. Um, so I play Beat Saber, Half-Life Alex, um, Blade and Sorcery, the Star Wars mod. So I play a lot of VR because it kind of gets me active. One thing I've also started focusing on lately is fitness in general. Like looking at me, you wouldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just to get me moving around a bit because sitting at my desk, which is to my left, um, yeah, it can basically drain you quite a lot. So yeah, I've focused on that lately. VR kind of helps with it, you wouldn't know, but it's kind of like fitness gaming in a way. Beat Saber, I absolutely love. I may stream it one evening. If you'd like to see some VR streams, let me know. We might put them on Twitch at some point, which could be quite fun. So someone asked, um, says e EPB7304 says, what is the inspiration from the Connie series? What made you start it all? This is a good question. It's one I get all the time. Um, so Connolly Survival being the first series of Connolly, or first season in a way, uh, what started that simply was me looking at SE multiplayer at the time thinking, hmm, I wonder how much we can stretch it to before we start to break the server. So at the time, um, I didn't run any of my own dedicated servers, so I went to my good friend Mac, who actually runs Server Blend, and basically went, hey Mac, uh, give us a server, we'll promote it, and break it in the process. And luckily, uh, Mac was like, yeah, sure, go on. Um, so we got this together, I gathered 10 of my friends, or 9 of my friends, uh, and 10 including myself, um, and we just tested it and ran with it. I fully expected Space Engineers multiplayer to break and just not work at the time, but it actually worked really well and gave birth to the Colony Survival series. And yeah, then we did Colony Wars, and now we're doing Lost, and that's going to be the end of it there. I think um, sort of like free total series kind of ends it off there and does well. Would we come back for another one? Maybe in the future. I mean, it's probably possible, but not just yet. Um, I kind of want to give like a break before doing another sort of like Colony series like that. I think definitely the cast can do more stuff, but no, we probably wouldn't want to do another Conley mm, something like that, because I think we've like done a lot of that lately and something new would be quite interesting. So, so Carson goes, uh, are you excited for project you have planned for the rest of 2020? Yes, I've got a lot of stuff planned for the channel for 2020. I do have like a new cinematic series. It's about five or six parts I want to tell. That thing is turning into like a logistical nightmare, but we are getting there. Also, we've got like Star Wars Squadrons coming out. Dual Universe is leaving beta. Uh, sorry, leaving alpha going into beta. Starbase, um, I still got a lot to cover on that. I've been slacking lately because I've been busy with other things. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to cover. Time is a big factor. Uh, I obviously since I moved out and I live by myself now. Um, yeah, timing is a nightmare because I have to do the housework and like, you know, do dinner, etc. So my time is diminished and I'm sleeping a lot more lately because I'm so tired. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of stuff to cover this year and the end of 2020 because we're in the eighth month now. Yeah, Christ. Oh my, um, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I've got a lot of projects in the works, not just on this channel as well. Some other social media stuff I'm doing. So keeping up for that is going to be quite fun. So because what kind of PC build do you use and do you recommend to play the same games? Trying to make switch from console to PC before Cyberpunk 2077 comes out. I will post my PC specs in the Tech Talk channel of uh, my Discord and you can head over there and check them out. I currently use two PCs. Uh, I use my main gaming machine and also use a render machine as well. Because I handle a lot of other people's video content, i.e. like Krazes, Reads and Fins. Um, basically, I have to like render it into the same format, so I have another PC doing that so I can still use mine while I do it. I'll post the specs in Discord, but basically I use an i7-8000 series in this one and a 2080 Ti. You don't need those specs if you just want to make the switch from console to um, PC. You probably go with something a little bit drawn back. This is purely like that, simply because it's my job. I need the best stuff to do and shoot 4K video, especially when playing games like Star Citizen, because they take quite a lot of power. On it goes, are you able to do a backflip? No, I'd probably die to be honest if I did that. You know, not a chance in hell. Riding my bike around the city is like difficult enough. Um, so goes, I just thought of this, but what if you did a prequel series of a coin series explaining RWRDF and other things? Maybe in the future I could do something like that, but it's not a plan just uh, right now. Uh, so Owen basically says, what is it like running a YouTube channel or what are some of the difficulties in counting when, produ yeah, when producing content? Running a YouTube channel is fantastic. I love running uh, my two YouTube channels now, and I've run others before and helped with others and advise on them. 
But yeah, the two of mine, I love running them. They've given me so many opportunities and allowed me to connect with some fantastic people around the world. Um, and I think, you know, if I wasn't running or doing YouTube, I really wouldn't get these opportunities. Uh, and I've built like a massive community, to me anyway, some people may not regard it as massive, but to me, 200,000 people is a fucking big number. <laughs> uh, somebody, one of my friends sent me last night is like, apparently that can fill Wembley Stadium twice, which is like a football stadium here in the UK. I'm like, wow, that's, um, that is kind of intense to be honest. So yeah, it's kind of mental. Um, production constraints. There's a lot. I mean, stuff can go wrong sometimes. It drives me up the wall. Um, video editing is a constraint for me because I'm not a massive fan of video editing. I don't mind it, but I do a hell of a lot more of it now than I used to, and it can get rather draining. I'm still the main editor for the Trek Central YouTube channel, even though hopefully by this time we might have a new editor, but I'm not sure as of yet. Um, but it is like quite draining over on there. So hopefully we'll get that sorted at some point. Uh, right, what else we have? Um, there's a lot of questions around here. For those asking law questions, I will answer them in Discord, but it is a bit long-winded for me to answer them here um, in this one. Uh, will you be going back to survival or will it mainly stay scripted? For the minute, uh, for Connolly, we'll be doing scripted content. However, I would like to do a more like classic survival series in the future, so maybe that'll come out at some point. Um, what's that? Do you prefer? I don't even know what that even says. Um, uh, so Enclave Army says, I have a question. Is it like Mass Effect 3? I think you meant, do I like Mass Effect 3? Yeah, I mean, Mass Effect 2 is my favourite, but 3 is like, alright, I guess. But yeah, I liked it. Um, let's see. How long have all the people that you do Space News videos... How long... Have, I think it's meant to be how long have you known all the people you do SE videos with, and how many people in your group, and what was your least favourite drink? Uh, least favourite drink? I don't know. Hmm. I drink a lot of water at the minute, because uh, I can't drink too many fizzy drinks at the minute, because it just doesn't make me feel good anymore. Yeah, maybe coffee, or like some forms of alcohol. I don't drink massive amounts of alcohol. Um, probably coffee to us. I, I rarely ever drink that. You know something's gone wrong, or there's like no other options available if I drink coffee. I think I drank it in America last year and it was fucking disgusting. Um, so how do I meet people in my group? I will quickly sum this up. Uh, I met Kraz because he came to Discord one day and offered to help me filming Planet Wars. We became best friends ever since. Reese is currently my community manager. I have known him since 2012, 2013, um, because we went to secondary school together, which is like high school for both of you in the US. Uh, and we've been really good friends ever since. He's currently my community manager. Uh, Venom, I reviewed one of his ships on the workshop uh, and we sort of hit it off from there and got talking. He invited me to like a team speak at the time. Discord wasn't around in 2015, 16. Then towards 17, it like came mainstream. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll explain more stories in the Discord, I think, or like other times when I've got more time. But yeah, how I meet everyone is really like a cool experience, I think. So I guess, will you be planning on expanding the kind of content you make or will you stay the same for now? It's from Jacob Fuller. Yeah, I definitely want to expand content I make and do different stuff. But Space Engineers, in my opinion, it is sort of scaling down, they're doing updates right now, but if they are making a new game, then of course the main game is going to start, slightly drop off. So I do want to like pivot to new content, that's why Dual Universe is an offer, Starbase, Star Citizen, and I do want to transfer over there and see what I can make, hence why Conley Loss is also winding down. I think there's something I can definitely do there, but it's sort of just, we'll see how the end of this year goes and make a decision for next year. But I'm still having fun and enjoying things at the minute, so I can't really complain. Uh, Jack, what inspired you to create Conley Survival? I already answered that one. Uh, Wars and Lost, they just succeeded on from there. If you had to take the crew from Coin Loss and put them on MasterChef, who would win? Ooh, that is a really good question. That's a funny question, but a really good one. Who would win on MasterChef? Um, I reckon Kraz would do all right. He could probably do well, because I think he can cook all right. I would lose in sleeves. My cooking skills are shit. Bish, my server developer, if we wanted a bacon sandwich, he could do you the best one of that. So he could probably win MasterChef alone with that. Um, but other than that, I don't really know. I've not tried anyone's cooking. When we go to events, we usually order takeaway or not bother. Um, how do you group things in SE and can you let Kraz know that I'm still making shit with Waffle on top? I will let him know. Group things, uh, the tutorial will offer you that one. Uh, if you could create an official weapon pack for Space Engineers, what would you add? A shotgun. Let's be honest, I was always going to say that. So Boss Diamond 1771 said, what made you want to start YouTube? This is a really good question and um, I, I like answering this one. So back in 2010, I was watching a lot of Lego Star Wars stop motion content on YouTube. And I was like, I want to do this. And I also want to entertain people and tell a story. And that's why I do my RP things, because I like, en like engrossing people inside of stories and stuff like that. As a kid and still growing up now, I love it when sci-fi stories hook people on and also um, treat the viewers as well and engage the viewers. Sort of like when you watch something and then you recognize something in the background from an earlier season or episode, that sort of content really engages me. So I love telling a story and engaging my viewers in the same way. The same way when you watch Connie Lost and you go, hang on, it isn't about the Eclipse and Planet Wars. That stuff alone, entertaining people and telling a story is one of the core reasons why I do YouTube. 
also to talk to people as well. I, I always always like talking to people uh, when I was younger, I didn't have the opportunity that much. So now with YouTube, talking to people all around the world and my community and just discussing stuff with them, I absolutely love it. And it's one of the reasons why I do what I do. Uh, so Hans says, are you gonna do another Space Engine series after Conley Lost? Maybe, uh, we've got no plans just yet. But I imagine we'll still do SE content, but there's no like definitive series in right now. Uh, are you interested in mainstream games, EDC Warzone, Fortnite, FIFA, uh, NBA, 2K20? Um, not massively. I've played Fortnite twice, never played Warzone. Uh, I've played FIFA once, it was terrible. Um, and I've never played NBA 2K20. Uh, some mainstream games will get me interested, others won't, to be honest. The only mainstream game I'm looking forward to this year is Halo Infinite. And of course, I'll be excited to cover that, um, which should be really fun. So I'm just following on to the other question about what started YouTube. Someone asked, or CIA said, what made you start? What motivates you to continue? Motivates to continue is a hard one. Um, you can frequently lose motivation whilst or doing YouTube stuff. But to continue, um, it's just a lot of engagement. I love entertaining people and seeing how far I can push the YouTube channel and the creativeness of what we can do is kind of a way of doing it. Whilst I've realized the lighting of this is probably really off. Need to work on that at some point. But we actually have good lighting. I actually constructed this set um, just for this video. I've moved around half my flat just to film this video. So enjoy. Do, do, do you have a strict script for your Conley series? Yes, for cinematics, for other stuff, not so much. More or less like a direction. So it's like a linear path in a way. Uh, so are you still making the Lego Death Star of Castle when you hit 200k? Then it goes, what is your all-time YouTube goal? Uh, all-time YouTube goal. I guess a million subscribers would be worth it, but I don't see hitting that anytime soon. Um, I would love to join a network of other creators. But how that's going to happen, I have no idea. I always like working with people. At the minute, I don't really get the chance to work with people that much. I would love to just play games and work with other YouTube creators. But that, I don't know, how to get even into that is like a nightmare. Because like my friends are like really good and everything. I love that, but they're not YouTube creators. So like making videos with other people and sharing your experience is fantastic. I, I would just like to work with other YouTubers and streamers, etc. So how that can come about in the future, maybe. Um, so yeah, we'll see that. Did a, um, so a wait, didn't you have over 1 million? No, I've never had over a million subs. If I did and we got to 200k, that would be a disaster. Um, did a, how did you meet everyone? Oh, I answered that question earlier. Uh, will you make another series after loss? Answer that earlier. Can you answer this question? No. Uh, was Connie Sarvel always going to spiral into the huge story of an adventure? Or was it originally just a little let's play you were going to do? It's a great question. No, it was never going to spiral into what we did now. So yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it, we're never going to do that. Okay, so I think this will be the last question. Paul goes, is Venom coming back at some point? And do you have some pictures of your Sweden trip with Kraz? Or even some videos that you can make a story time episode out of? Maybe you can have a slideshow and talk about what happened, how terrifying it was to be in a car with Kraz driving. So what happened to Venom? Uh, I get this question quite a lot. Nothing's happened with Venom, he's perfectly fine. Uh, he has some personal health issues, which I'm obviously not going to discuss. That is personal matters, uh, which restricts him from being in the series at the minute. And also the time balance is kind of off. Venom's perfectly fine, we chat to him like every other week, etc. And he's always active in the Discord as well, so if you are in there, come by, you can say hello to Venom. Um, but yeah, it's just like health constraints, also time constraints, makes it so we can't like meet our recording sessions at the minute. I've always said if I could have him back in a YouTube video or stuff like that, I would definitely would. And if you can make a cameo, maybe? So yeah. Um, so last year, for Paul's second part of the question there, uh, my time in Sweden was fantastic. I really enjoyed traveling with Leo, um, which is Kraz. And that was in like December, so like a couple of days before his birthday as well, which he's 19, I think. Yeah, I think it's 19 or 18. I can't remember. It might be 19. I don't know. I think it is. Um, so yeah, that was great. Um, Sweden's a really cool experience, especially the area Leo lives in. Uh, I would love to go back at some point and explore more of it. I really want to check out Stockholm. This year, I was meant to do a ton more traveling. I was meant to be in LA. Actually, at the time of recording this, I was meant to be in Las Vegas for the official Star Trek convention. Thanks to the pandemic, none of that's happening. But I have saved a ton of money, though, so there's always like a silver lining. Uh, and I was also meant to be in LA again for Star Wars Celebration. I think I just said that, um, but that's not happening. Maybe might be able to escape somewhere later this year. But the bonus is I have actually moved out, which leads me to rounding up this thing here. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel. This year, I managed to move out back in March. I've not spoken about it massively because I kind of like my privacy and security, and I don't really want people knowing exactly where I live for obvious sakes, because uh, that's kind of creepy, and I like my private life at the same time. But yeah, I've managed to relocate to a city in the UK. Um, some of you may know it. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving it at the minute. It's great because I'm closer to friends and I'm closer to other YouTube creators as well. So hopefully that can lead to some better opportunities in the future. And of course, when traveling is like more free, I know you can travel at the minute, but when traveling is more free again to like go out places, I definitely want to move around the world a bit more and explore different places as I have the availability and opportunity to do it right now. So I think next year I'll be doing a lot more of that. Um, with people when and where it comes available, which would be quite fun. You know, I really do wish I'd got one of those confetti things, but someone said the other day they create a lot of mess. 
Anyway, everyone, that is the end of this YouTube Q&A. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I got most of your questions answered. If you do have any more, you're always welcome to comment them down below. Hop into Discord and ask me. Tweet, Instagram or Facebook. All those links will be down below. And of course, I'll try and answer my best from there, which should be pretty fun. But yeah, that's mostly it for now. I do hope you enjoyed this video in this weird ass setup, which I've constructed in the corner of my office. The amount of lights that are surrounding me at the minute is a nightmare. I've had to move everything around. If I find this later, I'll take a picture. Hopefully we can do more videos like this in the future but do let me know if you enjoyed them and yeah i'm looking forward to what the rest of 2020 has to offer once again a massive thank you for 200 000 subscribers it is absolutely mental i've been captain jack thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye